Oh, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to another Life on Mars review, or just random review. And this one's on the Arrow 2 Panger from 2001, of course. So on the front of the large manual, we would have the Lego Life on Mars logos. And same border as we have with most of, this, of the sets. And then picture of the whole set on the surface of Mars, of course. And set number 7317 on the back side is advertisement of all the sets of this of the theme, which I have reviewed, of course. And then advertisement of the other uh, sets that there were, which I have also reviewed. And then also all the features of the set. And then how to connect all the sections together. And then some of the last building steps. And so now on to the mini. It's included with the set right here. First up, first of which is Vega, who which did come in a few other sets. In the theme, which not going to mention much, and then uh, Mizar, and then next to which Mizar, yeah, Mizar, which I think also which might have came in the uh, in oh which one. Excavation Searcher, of course. And next we have, and next to which is Arcturus. Yeah, Arcturus, which also came in the Excavation Searcher, of course. And then we have Rigel. Yeah, Rigel, which might have come in a polybag set or two, but and of course, this is which good way to get him, of course. And then the only one that is exclusive is Cassiopeia, which is the only female Martian, and also one that didn't come in any other sets. I'm not sure why that is. And also, the only one exclusive to that. However, all the rest of the Martians here did come in most of the sets for that. Not sure why it let Cassiopeia be exclusive here, but even though Vega is the most common. So, it's kind of a weird misconception how that is. And then as for the March of Minifigs in general, of which, which which the arms and torsos, just about the same as from the battle droids in Star Wars, but however, the for each one, the uh, they're in different colors for that. And of course, the legs, which were exclusive to each of them. And of course, the arms are different shades of green, of course. And then for the back side switch, nothing much to that, but yeah. And then now, on to the builds. First off, we get this little mecha, which now, there's quite a bit going, a lot to go around in this, for this set, so I won't make this video, hopefully not make this video too long, but yeah. So first I'll get this little mech here. Of which, which kind of simplistic and or at least standard for the time, like has those little plates and also a few joints on hinges. Well, kind of skimpy for the legs, of which with a little bit of thickness in the center, and of course pivots from both uh, directions and also from the knees and from the feet or ankles, and also does come with of parts of semi like that but then as for this upper section which the shoulder parts are on hinge joints we kind of wish they would have been on ball joints small ball joints if done nowadays but one of which it goes down with a smallish arm here leading down to a hook then the other side leading down to an old style blaster with a cone on the front part and this center section which has a few uh, slopes in 
uh, sand green and uh, also with trans orange studs on there and Valdroid arm holding a little control panel onto it and also a little bit of room to sit a Martian minifig into there. Uh, like so. And also let him let the control panel reach into it and let any of the uh, settled in for there, of course. So that's about it with the mech. And now on to one of the side builds, which you get two of here. Uh, hang on. Uh, okay. So, actually, do get these two little bridgeways, which are just long bricks and a couple of wedge plates with uh, what's it called? with cylinders in them, with the pop and swap kind of bits to it. And now onto this one of these little uh, tower sections, which all of which are resting on these little uh, pillar kind of pieces to there, and then to these oddly or venting panel kind of bricks to there. Then goes up with a rod to these dish pieces, but in sand purple. Kind of interesting to see here, which was kind of common for the time, but although getting, you get quite a bit of it in this set, of which good for mocking and such. And then on top is this little dish piece, which did come in some of the other sets as well. For that. Also, although with this one of which you do get a few tools and things for that, like a wrench and walkie-talkie, and another walkie-talkie, and a little saw blade, and also a little launcher to here. But however, the other one of which has just a couple of uh, jagged slopes, yeah, jagged slopes with control panels printed on the, and a couple on the sides as well. And then onto one of the like uh, hanger kind of sections, which are comprised on these tube parts, which which I'll show just one of these. So which which as you see this, which kind of the same, similar to the one that came in excavation searcher, but however this one is in red and sand red and dark gray. Well, with those on uh, gun pieces in that color. And also, so it does have a fire symbol on it, like the recon mech. Yeah, recon mech kind of did. So this, so both, and what those two little pins right here are to connect to that, and also the blue one to the red plant protector uh, mech sets as well. And then these little pins in the back here are to connect to these little these parts of the two parts which connect to that and of course and the of course all of this sewage same as from the excavation searcher set but then goes down to this other one of which which same thing but also forgot to mention have these archway piece but in sand purple which did come in one or two different earlier star wars sets but that was in black. But of course, nice to see here in sand purple. And also the same dish piece as the red plant protector set uh, as well. And then as for this one other one of it, which is just by itself, but you can connect it to the one that comes in the excavation searcher set as well. And are these two zoich, which are uh, soft and bendy, and what those connect to, which I'll show later. And now onto the uh, main part of the arrow tube hanger itself, which I see kind of large and cool for how it is. So like as you see, it does have this another one of those, but with the uh, sand purple uh, slope pieces there and. 
this and what this wheel part is for is to move the tube in different sections. Which, as you can see here. Okay. So, oh well. So now we can so, announce for this back section, which is, is mostly those archway pieces again, and also one of these uh, uh, stand pieces as well, and a large open area for your Martians to stand onto. And then a little farther up is some more of these, like, like uh, what's it called? Uh, bar kind of pieces or beam pieces is holding on to this like we saw in insectoids from a few years earlier and also you have this rod that has or technic rod with a tube on it and leading to a hook which is where this little orange rock bit like we saw in the uh, solar explorers that it can uh, go on to which hooks on to there and rotates around of course and then above of which has the a canopy kind of piece from the theme of this theme, but in sand purple as a main dome part for that. And also have kind of a walkway kind of, kind of area that leads to this uh, fly or aircraft, you know, which just slides right off, off of some rods there. And however, this one of which does have that same campy piece here and also these engine parts in sand purple and the propellers in trans in trans yellow white kind of you see there and oh whoops does have the little uh, little projectiles on both sides but that don't function or anything you can open it up like that and also does have a little flag kind of panel piece that has some controls on to it and enough space to fit one of your Martian figs into. Oops. Even though it's kind of unstable and kind of frail. Although it still kind of works out if you can know how to position it right. And this slides right back on, like so. And as for the far back section, you get this large, chunky uh, pump section, which also came in the uh, Mars base on in Mars mission, which was in 2007. But however, but this one, but that comes in like white or so. But this one has bottom sand purple. And you can, and pump it in and also rotate it as well. And so now, on to the main feature of this. Like, take this section. And just uh, plug that onto here. And get the other section. And then plug that in, like so. Then also you get these little carrier kind of pieces. See two in black, one in glow in the dark, and which you also got in the 2007 of uh, Mars mission line as well. Just take whatever Martian you got that there is, and they fit snugly in there. And here's where it comes into action. Sure, this is me, but 
doesn't want to suck it in, unless if you just push it a bit in. Oh, there we go. But however, with this one, which can like uh, swap either one, either the red one or the blue one, kind of base. And so that was absolute fun black feature. Like I often time say, this is it's a kind of a fun set. So what truly fun set for that? And of course, you can attach these onto the sides so as well. But yeah. So you know, get it all. To the final verdict. So for my overall verdict is. Oh, hang on. Okay then. So overall, this is which a fantastic, great set. Like you get a lot of good playability with pumping the figs through the tubes, of course, and also you do get plenty of Sam purple pieces, and also. And of course, this is which the main line set of the whole theme, like we have with like, like the Lion Chi Temple in Legend of Chima and, and several others, and also like Sentai Fortress in Exo Force, of course. And although what's kind of odd, odd thing is, not sure why Cassiopeia was the main exclusive big to this set, maybe to take the cake like. Uh, Sensei Kaken kind of did, yeah, but even though it would be nice if she were included in other sets as well, but, and also, although Vega could have been in other sets other than just this, but whatever, but however, as for the net price point that this was, uh, which kind of low for the price point, but of course, although the pump and the tubes kind of took up uh, most of the, the set, of course, and, and of course, if you have the three other mech sets from the theme, they kind of expanded for even more better play, of course. But yeah, so this is kind of a sign of the times where you got something big and cool for a fun pro for a good price, and also provide a lot of stuff to work around. But yeah, and also, oh, what else is there? And also nice to include an extra mech which. Kind of, well, mini mech to go along with the other mechs of the theme, but yeah. And of course, this and for me, which this which one of my all-time favorite sets for how much fun it had that it brings, and yeah. And so now, if any of you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some great memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and are still looking to get this set, I say definitely get it. And if you're able to obtain it anyhow also definitely get it then definitely pick it up but yeah and that's about it with this video please like comment share and subscribe and thank you for watching